Hi guys, welcome back to Mama Familia's Cucina. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite products to use in the kitchen. It's the Deep Covered Baker. The Deep Covered Baker has taken the Pampered Chef world by storm and consultants across America are calling it the Magic Pot. And today I'm going to show you why it's magic. Come on over here and I'm going to show you what we're going to make today. I'm going to make a grilled penne al fresco. It's going to take about 15 minutes or so and is made entirely in the microwave. Again with the microwave, Tina, I know. Listen, it made her believer out of me. I'm a nice Italian girl. I like to cook, but when I heard pasta and microwave in the same sentence, I kind of freaked out a little bit. But it made a believer out of me and I'll make a believer out of you too. Come on over here so you can see what I've done. This is the Magic Pot, the Deep Covered Baker. In here so far, I just have a pint of grape tomatoes and I have two cloves of garlic in here already. Everybody that's familiar with Pampered Chef knows about our garlic press. Why do we love the garlic press? Because you take the whole clove of garlic, you put it in the press, you squirt it out, and voila, fresh pressed garlic. And the skin stays right in the press. No waste at all. So that was the garlic press. But the new wave of garlic by Pamper Jeff is the garlic peeler and slicer. This is a little silicone tube, really flexible and rubbery. I'm gonna take a whole clove of garlic. Come on over here, Joe, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I put the garlic in the tube. I'm gonna rock back and forth for a minute. And then the skin comes right off and then I have garlic and skin right left in the tube. So that's just the peeler. Now we're going to use the slicer. I'm a big movie buff. Anybody who's seen Goodfellas knows that this is your poly Goodfellas tool in the kitchen. Because I put the whole clove of garlic in there. I'm going to twist, 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 twist. And I'm going to have nice razor blade thin slices of garlic. So it's four cloves of garlic that are in here so far. Scrape off the leftover, put it all in the pot, review really quickly, slicer, peeler, press. I'm going to put the lid on, put my deep covered baker, I'm going to put it right in my microwave for four minutes, right in there, and that's going to start to cook. Come on over here, Joe, I'm going to show you how we prep the chicken and get ready. This is something that is good to do if you're making chicken cutlets for your family one day. I always make a couple of extra cutlets. I use our Pampered Chef grill pan and I grill up an extra couple of cutlets because my family loves this meal so much. They have me make it for them quite often. One of Joey's favorites, right Joe? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to cut up in pieces or just a few leftover cutlets. I'm cutting on a flexible cutting mat. It comes as a set of three. Love these mats for a couple of reasons. One, because they're flexible and dishwasher safe. They have like a no skid backing on them so they're not rocking all over my granite countertop and moving all over the place. There's three different colors so I can use three different things at once. If I had raw chicken on one, I could put vegetables on another and something else cooked on another. They are dishwasher safe. You want to keep them away from the heating element a little bit. But I love them because, watch what they do. See, I have this big, beautiful, expensive cutting board. I love it to death, but I can't pick it up and put my cut vegetables and go like this and dump them right into my pot. I take my $16 cutting mats and leave them on top of my $300 cutting board all the time. Okay, so this is going to go on our meal right at the very end because it's already cooked. Now, if you don't, um, can't think of, the cutlets ahead of time, you can always buy grilled cutlets at the deli counter in any of your supermarkets or in the regular deli. And um, Purdue has a brand called Shortcuts. Those, those work just... I hear them popping in the microwave with just a couple of seconds left, so I'm going to take them out. We just want the cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, to start to pop a little bit. And then we can move on a little bit. That's what we are looking for. Those tomatoes to start to pop. Going to use our mix and chopper. Love our mix and chopper. We're going to just finish squishing down our tomatoes a little bit. Okay. The 
aroma that is coming out of here right now is to die for. I love that garlicky smell, right, Joey? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to take a whole carton of chicken broth, and I'm just going to pour it right into this. This is a one-pot meal. Everything's going to be made right in here and, again, right into the microwave. So I'm just going to pour it all out right into there. Then I'm going to take a whole box of uncooked pasta. I know, it makes my head hurt too. Pasta and microwave in the same sentence really pained me at first until I tried it. You will not believe how delicious. My pinch bowls, I always have my prep bowls, I'm sorry. I always have a little salt, a little pepper. And then we're going to put it back into the microwave for about... 15 minutes. The pasta is going to soak up all the, all the water, all the juice, let's say. And then we're just going to throw on our grilled chicken. Then we're going to sprinkle a little, little Parmesan cheese. You want to make it a little colorful, you put a little basil on top. This is going to go right back in here for about 15 minutes. Okay guys, I just took this out of the microwave. I tried to spare you the 15 minutes, so I'm just kind of piecing together my video today for you just to keep it as short as possible. I know this one was a little longer than some of the others. I just wanted to tell you a few other things that you can make in here aside from the grilled penne al fresco. I use this for my sausage and peppers. Again, all one big pie. Sausage, pepper, potatoes, onions in the oven or in the microwave. That one I kind of like to do in the oven. I get that more of a roasted effect to it. But you could do your meatloaf, pork roast, pot roast, roast beef. Um, you can do a whole chicken in there too. Buy a whole chicken at the supermarket or from a wholesale club. Put the whole chicken raw right into the deep covered baker. You could put all vegetables around it. Put the lid on. 30 minutes in the microwave. I know it's crazy. Chicken in the microwave. You're like, ugh, rubber, disgusting. Absolutely not. People, I get to try this. They call me. They're like, Tina, I cannot believe how juicy and delicious and fall off the bone that chicken is. It goes in the microwave with absolutely no water or juice to it, and it comes out with a good inch or so of liquid surrounding it. It is fantastic. And it browns up nicely in the microwave, too. That's the magic part of the pot. I just don't get it, but it works phenomenally. Also, you can use this for is dessert. Joe, what's your favorite dessert in the deep cover baker? Chocolate molten lava cake. Chocolate molten lava cake. Chocolate molten lava cake is a box of cake mix, eggs, oil, water. Prepare as directed. You could directed. You're gonna mix it right in the deep covered baker. Then you're gonna take a can of chocolate frosting, just not the whipped kind, and you're just gonna dollop it all around in the deep covered baker. Put it in the microwave uncovered for 11 minutes, and you're gonna have oozing delicious chocolate molten lava cake. Again, cake, microwave, same sentence. I'm a big baker. There was no way on earth I was trying that one. But because I want to give everybody the correct information, I had to try it and it was not only moist but fantastically delicious. It was just like if you got it at a restaurant. So right now, come on over Joe. I'm going to take the lid off of our deep covered baker. Wow, look at that. Woo! Okay, burning hot. Most of the liquid has been absorbed. You want to have just a little liquid left in there. I'm using our mix and scraper to mix it all up. I cut up a little basil and the chicken is going to go right in. Again, my flexible mats, look how convenient that is. Then I'm going to just take, I grated up some cheese. I love our microplane graters for the grated cheese. They're fantastic. I'm just going to sprinkle Parmesan cheese all around. Beautiful looking dish. 15 minutes in the microwave. All done. This feeds my entire family of five. And it looks like a restaurant quality meal. Thanks again for joining me in today's video. This was the grilled penne al fresco made in the deep covered baker. Any of the products that you see can be purchased on my website at www.pamperedchef.biz/tinafemia. Thanks. See you next time.